George <laughs> Will often refers to Washington, D.C., our new home here, as 68 square miles surrounded by reality, reality being the rest of America. And nothing epitomizes that statement more than D.C.'s must-read morning newsletter. It's called Playbook. goes out every morning from Politico with the latest news, gossips, and goings-ons. The headline this morning caught our eye. How SCOTUS, short for Supreme Court of the United States, skates past controversy after controversy. Goes on to detail that despite the recent controversy surrounding Justice Clarence Thomas, literally nothing will change, including the Supreme Court's Code of Ethics. The justices themselves are exempt from the code of conduct that governs all other federal judges. Things like upholding the integrity and independence of the judiciary, avoiding improper impropriety and the appearance of impropriety in all activities, performing the duties of the office fairly, impartially, and diligently, engaging in extrajudicial activities that are consistent with the obligations of judicial office, and refraining from political activity. It seems like common sense, and despite demands for the Supreme Court to have the same code of conduct, it does not. As Playbook points out, it's unlikely to happen. As we said, 68 square miles surrounded by reality. Richard Painter is here, former White House ethics lawyer for George W. Bush. How is the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, how are the justices above the law? Well, they have lifetime tenure in their position. And lifetime tenure uh, gives someone a certain amount of immunity uh, from uh, criticism uh, from the outside world. And with that comes lack of accountability. And we've seen this elsewhere. Uh, we have seen uh, this problem of colleagues who cover for colleagues. And that's what's going on. The justices are covering for each other. They are not willing to hold each other accountable. And we see this phenomenon, uh, uh, colleagues covering for colleagues in police departments around the country, including the Minneapolis Police Department before George Floyd was murdered. We see it in universities uh, where sexual harassment and similar conduct is tolerated. Colleagues covering for colleagues. And that's what's going on in the Supreme Court of the United States. Justice Thomas says that he spoke with his colleagues about this and that he was told it was okay. We don't know who he spoke with because, of course, they won't reveal yeah, that. No, you're referring to, you're referring to the, the trips that Justice Thomas took. ProPublica uh, put out some reporting that he uh, traveled uh, with a billionaire, uh, he, he and his wife, um, with a billionaire, uh, Hamill Crow. Uh, nine days of island hopping in Indonesia, uh, Crow's private resort in the Anirondacks, uh, fl flights on Crow's uh, G5000, uh, Global Express 5000 jet, uh, on and on and on. Crow gave Thomas a $19,000 Bible that belonged to Fre Frederick Douglass. This is what I, struck me as interesting. Uh, Senator Durbin, Dick Durbin, uh, asked Chief Justice John Roberts to look into Justice Clarence Thomas also have the justices adopt the same code of conduct that currently governs the behavior of all other federal judges. What I think is interesting, and you point out, is if it's colleagues covering for colleagues, what you're effectively saying is, is that probably there are democratically appointed Supreme Court justices who are doing exactly the same thing. They're just not willing to call out Clarence Thomas because they know uh, that then people will look into them. Well, they're doing the same thing or something different, but also unethical. Uh, this is a, uh, a, an ideology we see in a lot of workplaces throughout America, uh, colleagues covering for colleagues. Uh, people won't call each other mm -hmm. out. And uh, that's what's going on with the Supreme Court justices. Uh, they will not call each other out. Uh, they may be democratically yeah. appointed or republicanly or Republican appointed. They sharply disagree on issues, but they're a private club. They have lifetime tenure, and with lifetime tenure, yeah, well, position, lifetime, yeah, and they refuse. Yeah, well, the rest of the federal judiciary does too, but they, the Supreme Court just doesn't report to anybody else. Uh, it's great to see you, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Money, money does not know partisanship uh, when it comes to gifts, I guess. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.